Hello everyone. So I just wanted to make a quick video showing how the temperature sensor warning horn works. Now this is the emergency temperature sensor. It is plugged in to here. So as you can see, it's kind of near the pistons or spark plugs of the motor. It's uh, held on with this plastic nut. So be careful when you're kind of twisting this because you don't want to break it. So just, just be gentle. And I found that it's not the easiest thing to remove. So you can see it's protected by this rubber grommet here. Um, some sort of kind of thin pliers or needle nose pliers are the best way to get it out, but it's still very easy to damage this kind of rubber grommet when getting it out. So in some ways I think it's one of those devices that's best to just replace with a new one if you take it out. Now all this device does is create a buzz when the motor overheats. So clearly this is the thermometer and this is the buzzer. So as the device is powered on, I'm actually going to connect the power right now. So I'm going to turn the key that turns on the power. It runs through the 20, 20 amp fuse. And so we have power, ground, and the purple wire, which provides power to the system. So as you turn the key, power is provided to the, to the buzzer. As I said in the previous video, this is an older generation buzzer and it will not buzz when you turn the key once. So in pretty much all situations at this moment, if you turn the key a little bit, you'll hear a beep. Now, what the buzzer does, or the temperature sensor, is when the motor exceeds a certain temperature, this will ground and create a non-stop buzz. This means you should probably turn the motor off immediately as you can see, the temperature sensor is grounded. I mean, it's wired with a brownish wire. It goes all the way here to the buzzer itself. So the buzzer, through the buzzer goes the purple wire, basically providing power to the system. So right now the buzzer is engaged. All it needs is a ground to make any kind of sound. So what happens when the temperature exceeds a certain point, this grounds itself the thermometer, the temperature sensor, creating that constant buzz. So as you can see, for example, right now, I'm going to connect the ground wire, have this wired to the ground, to the temperature sensor. There is no sound at all. This is because currently the motor is not hot. Obviously this is not hot, it's just laying here. Now, if I were to heat up this sensor here, the magnet or wherever is pulled inside of this will connect and create a ground, causing the buzzer to make it beep. Now, as you can see right over here, I damaged the wire a tiny little bit when I removed it. So if I actually touch this really quickly, it will make a buzz. You can hear that. So this is the warning buzz. This is also, like I said, the buzz that happens when you just turn the key. Just a tiny little bit, it'll, you'll hear that beep. But as this is an older generation buzzer, you are not hearing this beep. So now, clearly there's nothing wrong with the motor. No, there's, there's no buzzing. So what I'm going to do is just heat this up with a layer. Heat up a little bit. Let's see if that... Not yet. I'll just keep them both connected. I'm just gonna have them touching. That's it. So as you can tell, as the temperature sensor is heated up, it suddenly engages the ground and causes that sudden constant beep. This really means you should shut off the motor immediately as there's something very wrong. So I'm just gonna show once again. A good reason for why this may happen is you may have a problem with the pistons or something that may, may not have any water flow or the thermostat may be broken and is not engaging water to go into the primary gasket. But this is all, and uh, this is how the 
thermostat or the temperature warning works. Here we go. Here is. It's a very simple device. It's really just wired in one place and it is grounded to the motor itself. So that's it. As soon as it grounds itself, it sends a signal to the buzzer. The buzzer rings and you know that the motor is overheating.